Thank you. Root, yeah, hit a root. Thank you. 
Oh, you wanna? Let's move to stay. Stay. You want that? Good boy. Sure.
back up, Kevin.
Maybe not wake up. Good girl.
It is hot out here. Complain about the late spring and then hot weather arrives and I complain about that. The uh, trees, of course, don't have any leaves on them yet because the snow is just finishing melting right now. But um, it's warm enough that it feels like summer out here. It's at like 30 degrees, probably 35 degrees here on the porch right now, Celsius. And it's uh, unbearable, but, but the biting bugs aren't out yet, which is a good thing. Black flies and mosquitoes will probably be hatching this week sometime. So by next week, you might see me battling insects. And if uh, it really stays warm like this, I'll be battling insects in hordes. Like filming right now, you would barely be able to see me because there'll be so many black flies attracted to the black camera landing on it that you just can't get a clear image. I've tried to photograph it this time of year. Um, some landscapes and stuff out on the water and almost every shot's got at least one or two black flies on the, on the lens and I have to crop those out. So what I am looking forward to though is the leaves on the tree so there's some shade so it's not so hot here. So I want to talk about this sawhorse that I made quickly. I only really had one of these once in my life back when I used to make bows and arrows when I was in my early 20s. So I had one that I would put the bow in here, a stave, and, and uh, draw shave that down to one even growth ring all the way across the bow, or the face of the bow. And then arrows I would cut doweling, or I'd cut uh, straight ash into doweling, square it off and then finish it off in this. So I'm sure I've done some things wrong that some of you would have a better idea how I could correct it or what I should have done differently. I have a feeling this is going to be a temporary one, something that I use on one part of the property and then I might make a more polished one for inside the workshop once I get the workshop done, which would be hopefully late this year, I'll get that workshop finished. So this might be one that I use outside most of the time. Anyway, it's functional. It's five feet long, so 60 inches long. The legs are, uh, what is that? That's um, actually the whole thing's made out of maple. That's heartwood, and this is sapwood and heart, heartwood here. It's 19 inches off the deck, off the floor, or off the ground. That one spindle down there, that foot peg, I wanted extra strength, so I had some horn beam, which we call ironwood here. Um, horn beam that I cut down right here because it was obstructing the cabin and it makes excellent um, tools and tool handles and stuff because it's so strong. So that's the foot pedal, so I'll be putting some weight on that, so I don't want to break that. So in the past, that's what I used it for. In fact, I might make another bow maybe next year, next winter when I'm looking for projects to do. Um, but for now, what I'm using this for is to carve doweling for the joinery on the, the uh, uh, screened-in porch, or not the screened-in porch, the uh, kitchen here. Screen and porch, maybe. I don't know if I'll get it to it this year, but that's on the back of the cabin. I'm putting the kitchen right here and I'm going to use some timber framing techniques. So, hopefully, no nails. I'll be using all dowels. So, I need to be able to fashion a number of dowels. Now, I'm going to make a metal plate with a hole in it that I could hammer uh, dowels through, but I've never done that either. So, I'm not sure how well that's going to work. So, I'll be using this for doweling as well as shingles. I have all the cedar cutoffs from the ends of these logs here that I need to split with my fro, splitting fro, and then shave them down to a uniform thickness. So they'll have to be six inches wide because this bench is six inches wide and that'll shave those down to a taper. So what else? Probably the odd tenon that I'll put on other pieces of furniture, like the other chair. That chair, my wife thinks is too big, even though it's nice and comfortable to get up on. She thinks it's too big for in the cabin, and I tend to agree. So I think we'll move that back out to the back porch and replace that with a couple of smaller chairs. So I need to make all the joinery in this as well. And do all the joinery, the mortises and tenons, or the tenons. Um, just a bunch of little stuff like that. It, it, a shaving horse always comes in handy. So the way it works, if you're not familiar with the shave horse, it's heavy because this is all green too. I just cut this tree down to clear a spot for the workshop up on the hill. So it was freshly cut and then I milled it uh, with the chainsaw into this half log and then these timbers or the rest of it I, I split up. So it's very heavy because it is still green. Anyway, it's very simple. Basically that swinging mechanism just clamps down 
and the more pressure you put forward the more it clamps down tight and holds that so what i should probably do is put a groove in here that'll hold the dowel in the center right there and it'll provide a little bit of sharp edges on the edges of that groove to dig into the item to hold it there but it does a pretty good job it didn't work out 100 percent the way i wanted to because that was hard getting that hole through there with a hand drill straight even so what happened is it's a little bit off this way so it needs to come back straight that way so i might have to i mean it functions okay maybe i'll live with it or i'll end up drilling another hole beside that one and make it more 90 degrees so that it comes down flatter we'll see i always say that and then i never get around to doing it especially if i end up making another one what's the point of spending more time on this so this um these are 22 inches long that's about 14 15 inches from here to here like i said 19 inches off the floor oh this wedge just moves in and out so you can adjust this thing up and down depending on the thickness of the material of the item that you're shaving so you just move this in and out wherever you need it to be let's see now i probably made that too short so it's only temporarily doweled in there pegged in there so i can move this or maybe i'll make a second one so i'm doing really thick material uh, i don't know it might work because if it's thick material it'll grab there yeah it'll work fine the way it is so a couple of the modifications i still need to make to it need to round these things off because i can see that the uh, jaw shave or the spoke shave or the the uh, draw knife is either hitting that or it's going to hit my hands so i'll shave this down round that off as soon as i find out where the most comfortable seating position is i'll carve a sort of a bold seat here more comfortable more comfortable seat that's contoured so that um, if i'm spending a long time on this thing like i would be if i'm making a bunch of shingles it's a little bit more comfortable so i'm just going to leave it outside let it weather i'll throw some linseed oil on it just to give it some protection once it dries out a little bit and that's it pretty simple device but a very handy one there's lots of great videos out there i wouldn't build one based on my video but there's some good tutorials i think online that uh, or on other people's videos actually zed did a really good one zed outdoors did a great video it's like three hours long showing everything in really really um, fine detail i only skimmed through it just to get a couple of ideas from it but if i was serious about making a really good one i would watch that video again for sure all right so that's it for this week guys appreciate you tuning in um, if you haven't subscribed i really appreciate it if you could do that and uh, like and comment of course like usual if you have any questions for me please ask them below as well and i'll try to get back to you or i'll make it uh, the topic of a future episode as well i'm going to try to answer more of your questions that way so but i appreciate you tuning in and watching the video this far have a great week i'll see you up at the cabin next week take care